Hello there, I'm James and welcome to The Rebel Base. On this episode of The Rebel Base, we've been asked by Boy Like Hobby Time to get involved in their miniature droid kit bashing challenge. It's a Star Wars challenge. How could I say no? There are a few problems though. I've never built a miniature before and I've certainly never painted a miniature. What could go wrong? Let's find out. So, this is a kit bash. You know me, I'm going to do this bit virtually. So I've got two models I'd already made, K2SO and Chopper, and I've got them to battle it out. Let's see who wins. As you can see, I 3D resin printed these parts. Here's a little tip, nice and easy way of getting it off the bed, use a very thin craft knife. Once I'd separated all the pieces and got rid of all of the supports, it was time to use the super glue to put this bad boy together. There you go, look, look, he's really beginning to take shape. Oh. I bet you've seen one or two of these over the last year. Well, I've got some really good use for these. Antenna. And a staff, or a walking stick, or something. Okay, it's about to get serious. I'm gonna to have to put the glasses on for this bit. Yep, this is me not knowing how to miniature paint. I'm pretty sure you use a really small brush. One thing I do know is you can work in layers, and they blend quite well. Again, I'm still not sure I'm doing any of this right. So this guy, he's a miner. He's a drunk miner droid, and he's been under the ground for quite some time, so he's beat up and rusty. So this is the first of my new toys. This challenge has definitely made me go on eBay and see what else I can be using in the shop. It's a hot wire cutting tool, and this was just as satisfying as it looks. Mm -hmm. 
One little tip I did pick up from my friend Richard Bolton who's building a Star Wars room is the spray bottle idea for blackwashing. You can see here I'm having some trouble getting this black wash to cover now that I've treated the polystyrene. So I added a little bit more paint so it could stick better. I then went ahead and removed the excess with a shot towel. I made a little cutout that was supposed to represent some kind of vent. And you all know what we use for vents, right? That's right, food pouch toppers. I did a lot more weathering of the droid, and I also stuck him to the base. In fact, this is one of the leftover pads from my Millennium Falcon bench build. I also stuck the polystyrene rock face down. I just forgot to record that. And finally, I grabbed a piece of mesh, another piece I had left over from a previous project. And yes, you've seen that badge before. It's the one from the Oculus crate. I did buy two, but I think this is the one that was in the crate, and I think it probably still says Oculus. Anyway, it's time to check out some of the other entries, and yes, they're amazing. And highlight just how I can't paint miniatures. You know what, what I've learned from this episode is you should never shy away from moving out of your comfort zone. Miniatures and miniature painting is definitely not something I've done a lot of, but I've really enjoyed doing this. So I encourage you to do the same. Find something you've always wanted to have a go at and just crack on. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time where we create something from a galaxy far, far away.